Does your creativity draw out the inner genius from within yourself so that your life thrives, making yourself your own hero? I'm Non Monogamous Mark, and my socially responsible, transparent, and nonprofit association is helping you to be your best self, living a liberated life of abundance and freedom. A hero steps out of the norm and with courage doesn't do the things that average people do. And a hero is someone who practices being their best self every day. Now at the end of this video, I'll be telling you a little bit about my association and how it helps you to be a better hero every day. But first, let's get back to our question. Does your creativity draw out your inner genius that's deep within yourself? You've got one, you know. Does your creativity draw it out, though, so that your life thrives in making you your own hero? Adopting the habits of a hero allows your inner genius to be discovered and learned about and allows it to grow and helps you to begin to thrive with that inner genius coming out. We're on this journey together to be our own hero and to be more of a hero every day so that today we're more of a hero than we were yesterday. And that's a hero to ourselves. So I've got an assignment for you this week. And I hope you'll take this assignment seriously by getting a pen and paper out or using your computer to do this assignment on. But go ahead and, and do this assignment. And so now here's the assignment for you. Pretend that it's 90 days from now and you're looking back. It has been the best 90 days of your life. It seems like a few key things went right for you. You had days where you were floating on cloud nine by the progress that you made towards having a life that you truly want and desire. You feel like your own hero and a hero to those you love and care about. What's more, the people around you seem to be taking notice of you. Even people that hardly know, you know, that don't even know you in fact, they seem to be taking notice of you. So there you are 90 days from now and you're looking back. What does the past 90 days look like? Spend a minute thinking about that and go ahead and write it down. To help to give you some clarity in writing your answers down, I'm going to give you some questions. What specifically happened during the past 90 days? What changed in your job or your business, your finances, your health and your fitness, your recreation, your relationships, your love life and your sex life? What habits of a hero did you introduce into your life? What habits did you replace that were not serving you well? How did you get those new habits into your life? What actions did you take to make things happen? And what did you say or do that created this change? With all of the positive shifts and accomplishments, how do you feel emotionally? Where is your confidence level? And whom do you see when you look in the mirror. Who are you spending more time with and who are you spending less time with? What is your state of mind like? What are you grateful for? Now I'll go ahead and put these questions in the description to this video so that they're there for your reference. After writing your answers all down on paper or putting them in your computer, write down the specific actions that you need to take to make this imaginary scenario a reality. What's going to take you from where you are right now today to that 90 day place where you look back and it's just a, an incredible 90 days of your life. Now Bill Gates famously said most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. So remember your action steps are only for 90 days. So keep them realistic. They're not designed to achieve your ultimate goals, but to put you clearly on your way there. What will it be 90 days from now that got you moving in the right direction? Stop doing so much busy work, meaningless tasks which don't really serve you, and don't get you closer to the life that you want most where you're looking in the mirror and seeing your hero looking back at you. Make sure that more than 50% of your daily activities focus on the action steps to meet your 90 day goals. Now that we've gotten that assignment out of the way, every week I'm introducing a new habit to you. We call these hero habits or habits of a hero. 
And this week's habit will help you to exercise that genius within you so that it gets stronger and grows bigger. The habit is to jot down notes of your thoughts and ideas. You see, people who have hero habits, people who really excel in life, who thrive in life, they have these creative thoughts and ideas because they know that their life is more about I can do instead of being about I can't do or it won't work or it just won't be like that. Anything like that. Their, their thoughts are more creative and more along the lines of I can and I will be. And so that's what gets them really excited. But one of the things that they do is that they will take and, and and always have things that a pen and paper, you know, they're at least a pen that they carry with them all the time. I, I actually don't understand people that don't carry a writing instrument with them all the time. But but you don't want to take the a chance of forgetting these brilliant ideas of yours. And these brilliant ideas, they aren't something that you're going to act on every one of them. Most of them you never will act on. But they create that creative genius within you and out of that you will find your path putting you on discovering learning about and growing that genius that is within you so jot down your thoughts and your ideas always keeping a pen and paper with you and then collect those ideas and then come up with a way of course on the computer these days a great way to do that or some people still like using notebooks but organize them systematically. You know, I, I'm recently, right now, I'm cleaning up the past 40 years of my life in Seattle. And I come across these, these notes and things that I wrote down. And I have files of them. And I have notebooks of things. So I've been a very creative person all my life. And I come across these things. And they serve today. Yes, a lot of things I never even really took any action on. But they serve today as a reminder for me of really just how much creative genius takes place in my life and so that's one of the things that this little habit will do for you as well by having a way where you write them down all the ideas and, the, and writing your thoughts down and collecting those then sometime you'll need a little bit of inspiration or you'll need a little bit of confidence or you will need a kick in the pants and you'll be able to go back and read the things that you have organized and written down and you'll find the inspiration that you're looking for. You'll find the confidence you're looking for. You'll find the kick in the pants you're looking for. One other really helpful thing for me is by writing these things down, it teaches me and helps me to minimize my distractions. And being somebody who has ADD, I don't treat it with, with chemicals and drugs and what have you. You know, I just organize my life. And so being someone who has ADD, you know, I'm easily distracted. You know, I can get easily distracted very quickly. And, uh, and so I find that by having the habit of writing my thoughts and my ideas down and organizing those just takes a few minutes every day. Sometimes I'll be rushing in the house, I'll be in the car and I'll be rushing in the house and, uh, and, and I'll rush in the house just so I can write down either on the computer or I'm in the habit of carrying up pen and paper around with me all the time. And so I'll be rushing in just to go ahead and write those thoughts and those ideas down. Or other times, I'll, someone will come in to talk to me and I'll just say, oh, I can't talk right now, just give me a few minutes. And I just gotta get those thoughts and ideas out. Other times I get out of bed so that I can write down these thoughts and the ideas. One of the things that we talk about is trajectory. You know, in the trajectory of your life, if you are going along in life and suddenly you get just you're just off track a little bit well just off track a little bit in 30 days 60 days or even 90 days won't put you very far off track but off track a little bit nine years later guess what and you're a long ways off track and you're left asking yourself how did I ever get here well you got there because you got just a little bit off track and so Keep that in mind that in creating these habits, you're creating habits of a hero so that you can get back on track to having the life that you desire and you want the most. 
Now, if you, I'm going to ask you to do three things that will help us both. And the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to leave a comment or a question for me uh, on this video. And the second thing is to give the video a like. And then lastly, to go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I do the future videos as well. Now, as I told at the beginning of the video, I would tell you about my association. My association is a socially responsible, transparent, nonprofit association, and it's helping sexual freedom seekers be their best self. Living a liberated life of abundance and freedom is, and my association is called Non Monogamous Lifestyles Association. Do you know there are far more people living an ethically and consensually non monogamous lifestyle, we call that an ECNM lifestyle, than there are people living an LGBT lifestyle? But most are in the same place LGBT people were 40 years ago for all the same reasons. They're in the closet. And that's why most people don't know that their friends, their relatives, their neighbors, the people that are they are very close to them are living an ethically and consensually non-monogamous lifestyle. There are many shades of an ECNN lifestyle. Well, Non-Monogamous Lifestyles Association is a non-profit business providing tools, support, and opportunities for people who are curious about, interested in, wanting to explore and experience, transitioning to, or already living a sexually liberated non-monogamous lifestyle to be their best self, living a liberated life of abundance and freedom. Sexual liberation will free and liberate a person's life in more ways and areas than anything else in your life will. It'll help you to be that hero that you want to be for yourself. So if you want to know more about Non-Monogamous Mark and Non-Monogamous Lifestyles Association, go ahead and click on that link in the description and get on our email list. And remember to go ahead and subscribe to our channel as well. But then get in that on that email list so that you'll continue to get updates from time to time. Thanks a lot.